the Doppler shift. So just to recap, uh, the basic idea is you have a source of sound. Or it could be light. In fact, it could be anything. It could be water waves. And if the source is, the source sends out a number of cycles per second, and if you're listening, this is an ear or an observer. So if you have a, a source of waves, every second that source is going to send out F cycles by definition. That's what F means. The frequency is the number of cycles per second. So if we consider one second of time, okay, then this distance would be v meters, where v is equal to f lambda. This is just a recap. And if the source was moving, this would be a stationary source. Source is basically a sound, sound source of sound. And if it's moving, then you get a, 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 a squashing of the wave fronts. They're closer together because it's moving. I mean, if I move towards you and shout at you really fast, you'll hear the frequency go up. I can't move fast enough to, for you to notice a change because I need to move something maybe one-tenth of the speed of sound. I can't move that fast. But if you have a car, they can do that. So if your source moves in some direction with a velocity US, uh, then in one second it would have moved US meters uh, and the weight, but it would still be giving out the same number of waves per second. So this would still be F cycles. But now F cycles occupies a shorter distance. Okay? This would be this would be US meters. And the whole distance is V meters. Okay? So the source moves, I guess it's moved to here, let's say. And because it's moving, these F cycles are squashed into a shorter distance. So we have uh, V equals F lambda, it's the equation for a wave. So for, um, we would have V minus US equals F lambda prime. So this would be for the moving source. Okay, so it would be a shorter distance. And this is going to tell us that lambda prime is equal to V minus U S divided by F. Okay, uh, we know that um, V equals F lambda. So lambda is V divided by F. Okay. Or, in other words, f is equal to v divided by lambda. So we can replace that f with um, v over lambda. So we can end up with lambda prime is equal to v minus us multiplied by lambda divided by v. Okay? This tells us the change in the wavelength. If you want the change in the frequency, you would just do lambda prime divided by, uh, would be v divided by lambda prime. Now, 